I want to travel in a few years. What's stopping you from traveling, bro? There's nothing from stopping you. I'm going to tell you one thing, bro. This is what you need to stop doing. You got sent home. What happened? You got in trouble? This is this is one of the main things, guys, is you have to stop worrying about trying to get a gang of people to go with you, bro. I made that mistake when I was very young, maybe about, maybe about 17, 18, 19, maybe. I would try to plan these trips, you know, whether it's uh, hot August nights was the main shit. So back, I don't even know if they still do that, but when I was young, in Reno, they had this car show called Hot August Nights. What's up, Jamal? I plan on going to Switzerland. That's what's up, bro. Look out for my um, vlogs I got coming. I got a vlog from, uh, I got a Denmark vlog I'm going to drop on you guys. I got a Paris vlog I'm going to drop on you guys. And I got a, um, and I got a, um, a Germany vlog I'm going to drop on you guys. Um, pretty soon. But um, to go with Bruce Leroy, so I used to try to plan, 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 plan. Like, And then what happens is your plans fall apart. Matter of, matter of fact, I'm, this is gonna, I'm gonna rename this video. And then, so what happens is, say you'll get like six people. Yeah, 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 we going, hell yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be bomb, blah, blah, blah. They say all that. And let's say you plan six months in advance. Try do me a favor and put in the chat, um, how to travel with or without friends because what's going to happen is that's, this is going to be a, a member Patreon video and that's what it's going to be about because a lot of people need game on that and they don't they don't know you can't you can't fault people for what they don't know so like we did used to do, do the hot August night so basically it's like a car show but everybody just comes to holler at everybody you get women from different cities and shit like that so we were able to do the hot august nights function but anything past that we could never get into it uh what trav say i'm going to go on my own more be catting it i want to do the same yeah bro so let me pin this one so this is how can I pin? It don't well, put user, blah, 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 blah. whatever. You name the video, so that's the video right there. So I'll tell y'all the trick. This is what I do. So instead of trying to have, <clears throat> what's up, TLP? We talking about um, how to travel with or without friends. So instead of um saying, oh, yeah, let's go to this place. Let's go to that place. And you guys talk, 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 talk. And then never nothing gets done. So what you do. So I talked to Trav earlier and they have. um, But I but I know Trav will come, though. So he's being Trav to be multiple places together. Miami multiple times, Vegas, San Diego, whatever, L.A., so I've traveled with Traff, but but the uh, they got the they got the they have the um, pay per view money in the bank. Um, they have it in Vegas. So let's say I didn't say let's say I want Trav to go. What I would do is I would just go either get me a flight first, get me a flight first. Get out! I, I would get the flight first, so I get the flight first. Like, hey, I got the flight for July second. That's when it is. So if you want to come, um, just latch on, and then that way, either way it goes, you're still going on a trip. 
you're not affected. You're not, you know what I mean? You're still going on a trip, no big deal. So that's the way you do it. So with that, I'm going I'm to go, I'm going to look at a flight. I'm going to look at the flights today, matter of fact. Uh, the venue, I'm pretty sure the venue not going to sell, uh, sell out. Now, I've never been to that Vegas venue before, though. I don't know how big or small it is because some of these venues, like, for instance, Trav, I went to a house show in Stockton. And the ticket, the, the stadium, you got to always incorporate how big the, 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 the stadium or the place is because I thought that I was getting regular seats. And the place was small. So when I got there, it was actually really, really good seats. And so, matter of fact, and then another one, Trav, too, with these with these events, too. I know you said you wanted to spend a spin stack. We ain't got to spend no thousand dollars, bro, because if the event don't sell out, all we got to do, you hear me, Trav, press one. I've done this a million times. So this, is, this isn't this uh, is a wish. This is like pretty much... Mm, 75% you can do this we book the tickets regular tickets and then once we because the event not going to sell out bro it ain't going to sell out so we book the tickets and then once we get there we just move around and sit where we want <laughs> I've done this at basketball games I've done this at baseball games I've done this at wrestling events I've done this at football games I've done this at hockey games. I've never been to a UFC fight. That I, That's on the checklist. I got to go to a UFC fight too. I, I never did a UFC fight. I did hockey. Um, yeah, but get some decent tickets because if you get stuck, I don't want to get stuck in the cuts. But no, you just get your ticket and then once you get there, you kind of be like, all right, let me see what I'm saying over there. And then when the people come, you just move and get an even closer place. So this isn't like a, I've done this before, but like certain stuff like the Super Bowl or like a, a you know a boxing match, a boxing match like Floyd Mayweather, like stuff like that, WrestleMania, they gonna sell out. But like this, you know the the events, the events ain't selling out no more because people are still scared to travel. You know what I'm saying? They may sell a lot, but they ain't, it ain't they ain't selling out, bro. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my flight, and then I'm a and then I'm a uh, screenshot travel. Like okay, boom, these the days because like hotels, bro. The, the flight is the most expensive part. You can get hotels anytime, bro. You can get hotels anytime. You know, in the venue, you you can you don't you can't get the venue anytime, but you don't have to do it super fast. So the flight is the main thing that you want to get get taken care of because flights go up. To- hotel hotel prices don't really go up that much unless you're going on a holiday or an event. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, for the most part, I can book a hotel room today and it's going to be the same price if I do it two weeks in advance. But for a flight, that two weeks may make my shit go crazy. My, I can get a flight for like 500 and wait three weeks and it should be like 800. So you want to get the flight together first. The flight's the first part. Then once you do that, you lock yourself in. Then the other person, they know you're going and they don't want to miss out. So then they'll actually probably go instead of the way you usually do it is y'all just talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. And then, the, then what happens is it gets closer and closer and closer and closer and then you end up don't going nowhere. So you don't want to do it like that. You don't want to you don't want to do it like that. So uh, get them get them flights first. Even if you even if you can't afford it, even if you get a one way, a one way will still lock you into knowing that you're going to do it. So let's say let's say the, the flight is 500 and you got only 350 in your in your in your in your account. And you like, well, damn, I ain't got the full 500. Just get the one way, bro. Get one way one day and then get another one way another day. That's it. So these are just some trips on how to travel. And the last thing that I want to say is... Um, the last thing that I want to say is... Um, traveling by yourself isn't as bad as, as you think it is. People think when you travel by yourself, you're going to be lonely and sad and... 
you, you're not you're not gonna find stuff you to, to do if you don't realize is um, traveling it puts you in position to make things happen. All right, you want to make things happen in life. Well, the secret to that is you have to put yourself in position for things to happen. All right, so we had 13 minutes. I'll go like two more minutes. If you guys got a question, put it in the chat. If you want to drop a donation, cash app, if you like the game, if you want to drop a super chat, go ahead and do it. I appreciate it. I use it towards my uh, towards my bunny fund. I need, I want to go uh, fry a bunny or something, so we're going to do that. But other than that, yeah, that's how you that's how you do it. And then one and the thing the best thing about it is once you do it like one or two times, then it becomes second nature and it's not a big thing. Like I know um I was gonna go to with Trav to uh, Seattle, but the problem with that was you had to be vaccinated to go to this event. Surprisingly, ain't that funny how it is? Surprisingly, even though WWE is a much, much bigger venue. They only want the COVID test. Me and him were going to go to an independent uh, wrestling event, and they wanted the vaccine. So I, I'm not vaccinated. And, you know, I, 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 for a few days, I was considering going. One of my friends told me, like, man, my aunt died from it. But it's just like the the nut, pre-nut syndrome. Like, after a few days, I was kind of like, ah, I don't want to get vaccinated. I know what I said, but I don't really want to do that. You know? So that's what happened. But let me get Bruce Leroy's question real quick. Um, is it okay to bring a woman with you traveling or is that bring a sign at the beach? Uh, yeah, bring women with you traveling, but make sure it's a woman that you like and you spend enough time with her to know that you can hound to her for a few days. Because it's one thing... It's one thing getting a room with a chick for, or even getting a weekend rendezvous with a chick one or two days. Um, for the most part, when you're traveling somewhere farther, you're going to travel for more than one or two days. So you I'm telling you that. But it's also a good thing. What's up, Johnny All-Star? What's up, Chris G? It's also a good thing. We're talking about uh, traveling with or without. So it's also a good tester too. What's up, Prince? It's a good tester because you need to know if you're compatible with that particular person. And you're not gonna also automatically know that when you're just going on dates and separate. Going on dates and separate, you don't really get a, a, a fire example of who that person is until you get up and wake up to them and go to bed with them for at least I say a four day minimum. When you with somebody for like one or two days, they can fake it. But once you get to three and four days, you're gonna say, see how they are, how their routine is, and if you can handle being with that person consecutive days. So the only way that you're gonna be able to figure that out is actually do it. It's easy to say, oh yeah, girl, we can, let's go to Rome for two weeks. Just because, just just because you can afford to go to Rome for two weeks with your girl does not mean that you guys are going to have fun, does not mean that you guys are going to get along, and does not mean that you guys are going to have a good, positive experience. You feel what I'm saying? What's going on, Iceberg? We talking about traveling with or without. <clears throat> so that's the key. So in summary, you, you, you have somewhere you want to go. You have somewhere you want to go, lock in that flight first. Lock in that flight first. Happy Easter to everybody. What's up, Wade? We're talking about traveling with or without. And what I'll do since it's Easter, I'll leave this one up for a little bit because um, I see people are coming in and out or whatever. You know, maybe people are up eating turkey or whatever y'all supposed to eat if y'all know me i don't celebrate the holidays so i don't be knowing what be going on or who we doing what i don't celebrate nothing except for my birthday i never even i know i don't even celebrate new year's I'm, on new year's i'll be in bed by like you know 10 o'clock sometimes last time i went out on new year's was probably like five years ago 
if I have a good experience and she don't, that's her fault. No, sometimes I've been I've been in situations where I'm where I'm with a chick and we'll not get along or we'll get into it over food or maybe we'll get into it because she want to stop and take pictures of everything and I'm not really with that. Um, money stuff. So no, you'll definitely you'll definitely uh, see who somebody is and if you can deal with them um, through traveling. But yeah, man, that's uh, we had like the twenty minute mark. So um, for you guys coming in late, I'll leave it up for a little bit. I'm gonna twist me something and I'm gonna watch uh, a couple of travel vlogs and see what that does. So. Happy Easter to everybody. Uh, hope everybody stays safe. And this video, again, if you came in late, it's about traveling with or without. Traveling with or without. How to do it, how to effectively, uh, you know, travel with or without. And then at the on the back end, we talked about traveling with women. So y'all get all of this game. If y'all came in late, 20 minutes, y'all can catch up. Put it on 1.25 speed like I do, and then you can watch this. So watch it, enjoy, like the video, drop a comment, and uh, y'all have a good day. Peace, guys.